four. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Featherfan, watch with you once you here. Welcome you guys back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin. In the last episode, uh, we completed the whole of Beasts, and in this episode, we just made it back to the surface, and we are going to crush a bag. I believe, uh, if done right, you can actually get a purple up up to that treasure. Um, and I think it does have to be a purple because it's done through, like, manipulating their homing attack in some way. Oh, yeah, I did it! See? I don't know how I did it, but I did do it. So, I'm just gonna let that fall. And then I'm just gonna send, uh, a couple reds. Five, six. I threw another one. There. That'll make it back to base, and then I can just live without those guys. In this cave. Alright. I'm just gonna be waiting for those guys to make it back. Eh, they'll be back shortly. Maybe I should have thrown a few more because it's not like it's going to be that big of a deal for me to have a few less reds in this cave. But, uh... Eh, it's too late now. It would take more time to throw more... It would take too much time to throw more Pikmin on it at this point. And here it is. Carmex. For cold sores. Healing cask. And now here's the cave. Astounding! My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? If you find trouble below, press start slash pause to contact me and press R on the radar screen. The exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you, Louie. To carry you, Louie, and the Pikmin to safety. But that does mean if you give up and escape the cave, you will lose any and all treasure you've collected. Which makes sense, because the... Theoretically, it makes sense, because the ship needs the room to, car to carry you and the Pikmin out of the cave. Okay. All the other Pikmin, the ones who are carrying that uh, treasure, they, are au they automatically go back into their onion. Basically, if you enter a cave and some Pikmin aren't, are around doing stuff and aren't in your squad, they automatically return to where they belong, so it ends up being not a huge deal. I lost a Pikmin! Now I'm sad. It was only one and it was red, but like, now I'm sad. I didn't want to lose a Pikmin. I had been kind of thinking maybe I'd be able to do like a no-death run here. But I've already lost a Pikmin. Aww. Oh well. Um, I mean, it's Pikmin. You're gonna lose Pikmin. That's just kind of a thing. Anyway, let's get that treasure back. It looks like that's the only one in this floor, but the treasure gauge will tell us that. Tell us uh, whether that's for sure or not. Um, yeah. This is shoe polish. Alien billboard. I did not press Z. Actually, hang on. Let me show you guys something first. If you didn't believe me about Pikmin joining your squad no matter what, uh... Goodbye! Yeah, that guy's still in our party. He did not die. Even though I actually... I, sh I didn't want to throw a purple. But... I didn't really think it would be that big of a deal, but I was probably pretty close to actually losing him in showing that. 
Now, these caves are dark, but there is a treasure you'll be getting later on in the game that lights up caves. So that'll be really convenient when that happens. Petrified Heart. Fiery Blowhogs. Again, these are fire, so you'd expect that you want to use reds. But, as always, purples just kind of destroy them. Purples destroy everything. They're great. Go, bottle cap, go. That is one thing you can do. If you end up with a very large amount of items just kind of lying around on one floor, um, throwing one purple at each to get them going isn't always the worst idea. A purple, one or two or three, depending on how many you need. But a purple... Um, will get something back eventually. It'll just take an extremely long time. And I think there are some levels in challenge mode where that's actually what you want to do. Is throw a purple on a couple things to get them going while you go and focus on something else. So they'll at least make it back at some point. But, uh, technically, in quotes, we haven't unlocked challenge mode yet. Even though it is unlocked, but uh, the game doesn't think we've unlocked it yet because we haven't gotten there yet in the main story. And in here is the reason why we had to come here. Those little beauties, those ivory candy pop buds. Can you take a guess at the type of Pikmin that will be made from these flowers? I will give you however long it takes for that Pikmin to be plucked to figure it out. Uh, just a warning, you probably don't want to throw your purples. Guys. And we pluck. These are white Pikmin. They are immune to poison. They are the smallest, but they are not any weaker than any Pik than any other color, I don't believe. But they are faster than the other colors. They also can see underground. So if there's a treasure that's 100 that's completely buried in the ground, white Pikmin see it and grab it. And your treasure gauge will lead you to any treasures that are completely buried in the ground. So there is that. Okay. And... Ooh, honey whisk. Okay. Okay, yeah. On, on our way out, the whites find something. The white Pikmin have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. So they're going to take that treasure back, and we're going to press onward. Also, I just remembered what the boss of this um, cave is, and I'm not happy. I hate this boss. Oh well. Got the honey whisk. It was only a nectar poo. I don't know if they can even give you potions yet, or if you need to have unlocked both. I think they can give you potions at this point. 
because I'm pretty sure I've seen people who have never gotten the other potion via berries. So, they can probably give you potions right from the very beginning. Anyway, uh, Gamma Tape, Gamma Tape, Gamma Tape, Gamma Tape, Gamma Tape. Super Stick Textile. Delving deeper with my Pikmin. The game has been saved. Would you have expected the game to have been saved? I'm not sure. On this subfloor, we encounter poison for the first time. Which is exactly what the whites are built for. Let's take out this one too. Is that everything? Well, there's another poison generator, but I don't know that there's anything behind it. <clears throat> there is this, though. Guys, Jesus Christ. And here we have some chapstick, I believe. Yep. Chapstick brand chapstick. Survival ointment. I personally disagree. I've never been able to use chapstick. I don't really know why. It just doesn't work for me. Um, also, I absolutely hate wearing chapstick. It just feels unnatural to me. Well, unnatural is not the right word, because of course it would, but it feels wrong. Toxic Toadstool. That's it for this floor? Okay. And off we go to sub-level 5. Final floor, okay. Um, I don't think I want to take my whole squad in there. And just give me my perps. Here we go. Burrowing Snagrit. This boss is not as bad as it was in Pikmin 1. Nowhere near. Keep. Okay. Yeah, this boss is nowhere near as bad as he is in Pikmin 1. And I think you only find one of them Yeah. See how easily he got decimated? And he dropped the five-man knapsack. 
which is actually a relatively useful power-up, but a lot of people don't realize it. Uh, some people even know what it does and don't quite realize how useful it can be. Basically, what it does is it, uh... ...makes it so that you can... What am I trying to say? It makes it so that you can have a, pa a captain go to sleep, and Pikmin can carry the captain back to their onion or ship. What ha the usefulness of this comes in when you need a captain to get back to your ship, but don't want to take, but aren't willing or able to take the effort to actually walk them back to your ship them yourself. So. What you're able to do with the five-man knapsack is throw one Pikmin, um, and have that captain go to sleep in front of the Pikmin, let the Pikmin take the captain back, and then you'll have a captain by the ship, without interrupting your current captain's work. It's quite useful, but there are a lot of people who don't realize how useful it can be. Anyway, that's it for this cave, so we're heading back out to the Awakening Wood. And I think we'll be spending the rest of this episode finishing off this day. Cave complete. Okay, good. I was a little worried. I'm not gonna show it, at least not yet. I might show it eventually. If you sit on this cave complete screen for, uh, it's either three or five minutes, you'll hear Totaka's song. Um, I might do it with the, uh, a future cave. I probably will. I just don't want to do it right now. Okay, so for the rest of the day, I have a job for whites. And that's kind of it. The whites have two jobs, but one's a bit more important than the other. They need to take down this wall. While they take down that wall... First of all, let me pull out the reds that went back into the onion. Um... Plus one extra, because I lost one. Now you guys can take those back. And I'd like to get more berries. They're doing decently on that wall. All I'm gonna worry about right now is just getting back, getting berries. And this is really easy to just... Go grab my Pikmin while I wait. I was really hoping the whites could, uh take this down a little bit faster. In fact, since I'm getting berries, I could use an ultra spicy spray on them. Since there's still a decent amount to do to, fin to finish everything I wanted to get done today. Um, there's a good chance I'm going to have to return to the Awakening Wood for one more day just to do a couple little things. Um, if that's the case, I'll probably just include that day in this video as well. I don't see much of a reason not to. I'm just gonna bring the rest of my squad the wrong way, apparently. Over there. I'm not gonna get the whites working on the other poison wall. They could. And I would be spending... And if I fail to... finalize this today, then they probably will be taking down that other poison wall tomorrow. I'm hoping I have enough time to do everything I wanted to do today. Okay, 
I have my whole squad. Give me my purples. Another thing about this game is that... You're going to throw Pikmin in the order... How do I say it? What I'm trying to say is that um, the Pikmin you throw are going to be the first ones that Olimar and Louie can grab. So if you grab a purple, if you specifically tell the game you want a purple, and then you have a purple in your possession, like you're holding it ready to throw, but you walk really far to get to said enemy, then uh, getting that then all the purples are going to go behind the other Pikmin and you're only gonna throw the one before it switches to another color because purple because the purples haven't caught up yet. So you always wanna give the purples a chance to actually catch up. Anyway, getting this back to base is what I needed to get done before the end of the day. If we can get this back before the end of the day, then we won't have to return here for another day until we complete the next area, or start the next area. Purple, you can join. Good boy. And I figured since the creeping chrysanthemum body is right there, I might as well get it back too. Also, is the, is the ship telling us that, yeah, why wouldn't... Uh, I, uh, apparently I can't speak. Yeah, I didn't need that game. I know. All right. See if I can throw these Pikmin onto this as well to make it go faster. There's no reason why I wouldn't be able to. I mean, if if you need 101 Pikmin to carry it, then it should be able to carry your whole squad no matter what on it. And we got that back in the nick of time. Not like the nick nick of time. I've seen more clutch things like my like the radar in the first game in my first play in my playthrough of the first game wow i can't speak but yeah i mean that was still relatively clutch the geographic projection this is just the other half of the globe but yeah this leads us to the next area um so that in apparently it also had us complete 30 percent of the debt but in the next episode, once this day is over, there's actually enough time for me to get some one pellets. Might as well raise my numbers just a little bit. Cool. So we've completed everything I wanted to get done on this day. Technically, if I had managed my time a bit better, we could have done a tiny bit more, but not that much more. Also, apparently we had Pikmin in the ground? Did the, two, did the final two pellet end up spitting out those Pikmin after... The fact that it didn't spit out the Pikmin until after mean that they're in the ground now? That's a little irritating, but oh well, it's fine. Today's report, we earned 2,183 Pocos. Yeah, just a couple Pocos. We have 89 reds, 15 whites, and 25 purples. And we lost one Pikmin to battle. Olimar, good work so far. I hereby promote you to Perennial Manager. Press X to divide up work and Y to delegate more to your subordinate leader. Hope all goes smoothly. The game has been saved. So... In the next episode, we'll be going to the Perplexing Pool. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.